what's going on my family so man we gotta talk about this call of duty shit once again now you know I ain't really been fucking with Call of Duty like that because, you know, I already had told people about the whole Vanguard and shit. I made video about the Call of Duty Vanguard and why I'm not just going to fuck with that shit because I'm sick of the whole World War II shit. So, it seems that everybody kind of agreed with me because ain't nobody checking for Call of Duty Vanguard. Ain't nobody playing that stupid game because, like me, people are getting sick of that whole World War II shit. We just getting sick of it and we want some some better shit you know what i'm saying the world war ii shit is just outdated and motherfuckers is tired of it so now it's like they're saying once again the call of duty developers are practically saying once again that they may skip a year that they may skip a year of releasing call of duty now here's the issue that i got with that shit We've heard this all before. We've heard the developers that make these Call of Duty games say that they were going to put Call of Duty on the shelf. They were going to take a break. And then what the fuck they do? They come back and release another fucking Call of Duty game. Now, I made a video about this shit uh, a while back. You know, because I personally believed when I made that video that they were actually going to take a break from making Call of Duty games. And I saw it in that video and said, this is great for Call of Duty. I'm thinking that they was going to do that. But the motherfucking Call of Duty developers, they made your boy look like shit. You know what I'm saying? They made me look like shit because they brung out another Call of Duty game that same year after they told motherfuckers that they was going to take a break from Call of Duty. So we done heard all of this fucking shit before. Do I believe this shit? Fuck no. Because right now, you know, Especially with the shit that's going on with Activision right now. They just got bought out by Microsoft. But I will kind of say this. This is probably coming from Microsoft though. I think Microsoft might be doing this because, like I said, that Call of Duty Vanguard. Bullshit. Trash. Garbage. Ain't nobody fucking with it. And Microsoft ain't about to stand for that. They not about to stand for no first person shooter failure. So me personally, op opinion wise... I think Microsoft has kind of got they 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 putting their hands in it kind of like how I predicted. I think Microsoft is looking at this shit and like, you know what? Let's give Call of Duty a break. So that is the big difference right here. Back then, it was Activision, the developers, whoever, Treyarch, Infinity Ward. Yeah, they were saying all of that shit. But now I think it's Microsoft doing this shit now. Now that Activision belongs to Microsoft. I think Microsoft is really ready to make some changes to Call of Duty. Now, probably not no big changes, but, you know, they're probably just looking at it like, you know what, it's time for a little bit of break, you know what I'm saying? And Microsoft may put some ideas in, try to get Call of Duty back on track, which they don't got to do too much. Me personally, like I keep on saying before, the problem with Call of Duty is they are feeding people, their audience, they are feeding people Call of Duty way too much. When you get fed too much, you going to vomit. you going to throw the fuck up. And that's what's going on with Call of Duty. I keep on saying this. People are vomiting because they are getting fed too much Call of Duty. And this last Call of Duty title, no. People were just spitting that out. They weren't even vomiting. They was just spitting that shit out. So right here, while they saying, you know, they may skip a year with Call of Duty, they really need to do this shit. Now, I really don't know, but if this is Microsoft doing this, they may actually skip a year of Call of Duty. And me personally, I feel like, you know, Cold War was really okay. I really did like that Call of Duty game. It was okay. I mean, it didn't make me dedicated like, uh, like a Modern Warfare 3, but... It was an okay Call of Duty. They could just go back to Cold War and just keep on doing add-ons and shit like that. And, and just do it and, until they wait till the next year to another Call of Duty. I mean, just, just blow off Vanguard. Just don't even think about that game. But like that Cold War, they just need to go ahead and just keep on focusing on that game. Because that game is still being played. People still being played. People on my friends list are still playing the hell out of Cold War. So that's a that is a good game. That's a good fucking game, but um, I feel like they should do that. Just go ahead and keep adding on Cold War. You know what I'm saying? But uh, 
you know, skipping a year is definitely a good idea for Call of Duty. A break is definitely a good idea for Call of Duty. Like, right now, Call of Duty is just kind of like... Call of Duty is just like old socks in your fucking drawer right now to a lot of people. Like, we know it's there, but people just like, what the fuck? Because... We know what's there, and it's going to be there, so we just be like, oh, well, you know what? Call of Duty going to be there, or whatever. It's it's burnout. You feel what I'm saying? Motherfuckers are just, we're just burned out on Call of Duty. And the only thing that they really need to do with this game is to chill. Chill. You know, take a break. Take a break. Like, two years, you know. Take a fucking break, man. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, because my thing is, how how many of them can they make? I mean, every year, it's the same map pack shit over and over again. Same fucking shit. How many times have they resurrected Nuketown? Like, what, 62,000 fucking times? I'm like, come on, chill out. The Call of Duty developers need to just chill the fuck out, man. Take a break, you know? Take a break. It's okay for a franchise to take a fucking break. It's okay. You know, Assassin's Creed took a break. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto is taking a long fucking break. You feel what I'm saying? Rainbow Six took a little bit of a break. People need to... People need to urge. People need to get the urge for Call of Duty again. Nobody has the urge for this game anymore because they just know every fucking year... It's just going to be there. Nobody has the fucking urge for it. So when this game gets released every year, people just look at it like, what the fuck ever? You know what I'm saying? And the bad part about it is sometimes they do be having some good new shit in a lot of these Call of Duty games. But when you see the same game every year, it gets it, it gets overlooked. You feel what I'm saying? So if they take about a year or two off, we will notice the new shit that's going on with the next new Call of Duty game. But like I said before, we've heard all of this shit before. And they released a, a Call of Duty game the same year that they said that they was going to take a break. I think like a year and a half ago. So we don't know. But like I said, the only difference here is that Microsoft is involved. And I think Microsoft is practically, I think they're saying, they're telling Activision, hey, look, y'all motherfuckers need to take a damn break with this game. For real. Y'all need to take a break with this game. The guns are getting rusted. Like, the guns are, you know, take a break. Take a break. So, that is the problem with Call of Duty. People have to start urging for it again. And the way that you urge for Call of Duty again is to have it take a fucking break. That is just practically it. But like I said, man, I hope they do skip a year with Call of Duty because... If they do, I have this funny feeling that whenever they do decide to release a new Call of Duty game, it's going to be fresh in people's minds. Y'all feel what I'm saying? And that's all Call of Duty really needs to do. I've said this time and time again. Call of Duty really don't need to change much. They just need to chill the fuck out with the rapid fire releases. That's all they really need to do. You feel what I'm saying? It's kind of the same thing like Assassin's Creed. They kept on releasing the damn game. Then they chilled out with it, and then Assassin's Creed Origins came out. Motherfuckers was playing it. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Odyssey came out. Motherfuckers was playing it. Assassin's Creed Valhalla came out. Then motherfuckers was like, they was kind of getting a little burned out again when Valhalla came out. So I'm thinking, you know, Ubisoft, they need to chill out once again with Assassin's Creed because Valhalla kind of showed signs of burnout once again. I'm thinking that's just what's going on with Call of Duty, man. It's just, they just need to chill out. Just need to take a break. You know, it's so many Call of Duty games out here that motherfuckers are playing. It's going to be all right. Man, motherfuckers are still playing fucking Black Ops 3. And I didn't think Black Ops 3 was a good game. But my point is, motherfuckers are, are still playing older Call of Duty games and still having fun with the shit. You know what I'm saying? So, this news about them taking a Taking a, 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 a skip year with Call of Duty. I just hope they do this shit. I really hope they do it. But at the same time, like I said, they said this shit like a year and a half ago. They made your boy look like shit when I was like, oh, finally, finally, they're going to put this game, take this game, make this game take a break. 
But like I said, I hope this ain't no type of lie or you ever want to call it. I, I don't know. But like I said, if Microsoft is doing this, it's probably true. It's probably they are probably going to take a year off because they need to. Because Call of Duty Vanguard, man, no. Uh uh. That shit, it's just, that's, you know, they really need to go, they really need to go back to the drawing board. You know what I'm saying? And they don't really have to change anything. Just chill the fuck out with this damn game. That's all. Put it on the shelf for a while. Nobody's gonna miss it because motherfuckers have been fed this game. Been, they've been fed this game like fucking baby food. So motherfuckers are tired. So basically, my family, what do y'all think about this news about there possibly might be skipping a gear for Call of Duty? Should they do this? Because I know a lot of y'all out there, um, when I did my last video, because I know a lot of y'all out there feel, uh, uh, feel, you know, feel the same way that I do. We so burned out on it. You know, all we need is a, a, a well-deserved rest from seeing the damn game. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, let me know y'all thoughts and y'all feelings on this news about they may take a uh, skip a year with Call of Duty, even though we heard that shit before. Let me know y'all thoughts and the feelings in the comment section below. My name is Demetrius. Y'all already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe and support your boy. Follow me on Twitter as well. I got my Twitter link in the description box below. Check my Twitter account out. I will get back to y'all next video. I am out. God bless. Stay safe.